How's everybody doing today? My name is Brian. I'm the B-Rex beekeeper and today I'm finally going to build hive stands. I need to replace my hive stand really bad. I made mistakes building it. I'm ashamed to say it, <laughs> but I did. <laughs> so let me show you what's going on with my hive stands. There you go. I use four by fours and random spots. And I used one by sixes for some reason. I don't know why. It's probably uh, something I had in my carport. But there's droop in there. These cinder blocks to prop it up and put a two by four right there. This was separating. But a two by two actually is a two by four and i cut it and screwed it to that to help support it this look at the angle <laughs> i had to put that there to help support that yeah i did this six years ago and it's rough i don't know how it's still standing look at the tilt on that It's drooping down and I need to build another one I'll show you what I use in a second stand by so this is what I use I find these on marketplace people that are tearing down their fence posts just load them up take them home and then when I'm ready I just cut them all up and weld them together and use them as hive stands. Works really good. You can get them fairly cheap. I think I got most of these for free. Uh, just keeping an eye on Facebook Marketplace and, or your neighborhood website. And yeah, I find them, weld them up. Works great. So there you go. That's is what I do. I find those really cheap and just weld, cut them up and weld them up, you know. I'm not a very good welder, but I could booger weld with the best of them. <laughs> and it holds. Eh, that's all that matters, right? So I need to do this, get them painted up, get them installed. And I'm going to do two because I need to do some splits. All those nukes I installed this year, I'm going to split them because they're crowded. And it's about that time of the year, you know. If you want to split, you should split. And then hopefully they'll be ready next spring to either split again or sell them. So that is my plan. Uh, obviously get new queens for them too for next. I'll get those in the spring. But I am going to get started. I want to get all these and get them ready and do my measurements and start welding them up. And I'll show you how I do that later. So I cut them so it's about 16 inches wide. Get my welder there. I ground off as much of the galvanized stuff as I could. I don't know if that's gonna help, but I'm sure it will. All right, so I ran out of paint, but I got it pretty much done. Ran out of welding wire too, so great. So finish another day. I am not gonna show you my welds because <laughs> they are very bad, but uh. That's pretty much it. One down. I want to do one more. Maybe not quite this long. Maybe just from here to here. And that's going to be for my nuke boxes. But I might do some longer just in case. So there you go. Making hive stands with fence posts. Also, uh, I am going to bury these in the ground about here maybe a foot and i got some concrete just so i can keep it from sinking that's all i need the concrete for i don't want it to droop on down in the ground because florida sand is soft and i'm sure it would just sink anyway so there you go uh i welded that all up and uh don't give me any uh, grief about welding galvanized, because I know. 
not good. And I had a fan on me, tried to use my respirator, but it wouldn't fit my mask with my welding he helmet. So I just held my breath and had a shot fan on me blown on high. I feel good. Don't have any metal taste in my mouth. So I think, I, I think it worked, the fan. Uh, so anyway, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the ground after I get some paint and then I'm gonna go transfer all my hives onto it and that'll be another video. So thanks for watching, appreciate it. Hit that like button, hit the subscribe button and I'll see you later. Later.